Kwazulu Natal Legislature Speaker Nondeme Kopoes has tabled the legislature's annual budget of more than 644 million rand. Let's get you a live update on this. Speak to Karinda Jagmohan, who's been at that announcement. Karinda, tell us more about how uh, the work of the legislature and how this cake has been cut. Indeed, well, that's like you mentioned, 644 million rand for the KZN legislature. But also today, uh, this uh, particular office approving the budgets that's been passed over the last few weeks uh, of the different portfolios here. I'm actually joined by the chair of committees, Mr. Duma. Thank you so much sir, for speaking to us. I think first, just put us into confidence about how overall the budget for the provincial government would actually be able to be siphoned down to the people who need it the most. No, no, thank you so much for putting us this opportunity. I think a lot has happened. These 144 billion means a lot for the concerns of KwaZulu Natal. But what will transpire better is that we've got three assignments law making, public participation, and ensure that we monitor the execution of these budgets. I think what will happen currently is unfortunately let us start with the issue of flood. Let us pass our condolences to the families that have lost their loved ones. But is it critical that us as legislators we must monitor the implementation. If you have appropriated 140 billion plus grants, monitor each and every little detail that it goes towards the service delivered. I think our government has done a job well done so far, but a lot has still yet to happen. This legislature appropriation that took place today of 644 million is also assigned. The chairperson's committees must just go on the ground and monitor, must also ask the issue of MECs just to ensure that what has been appropriated is what is going to go to the ground. And so far, we are doing a great job on an outcome based system of oversight where we also go on the ground to check the budget that is being implemented. Uh, when we speak about the KZN floods, there has been talk about our provincial departments not having enough in their budgets to assist with what has happened. More than 25 billion rand of damage to our infrastructure. And we hear that money has not yet come from the national government that was promised. From your perspective at the head of KZN legislature, um, what is happening in that regard and how are we going to survive financially through this tragedy? I think we need to change the mechanism of government. If there is a flood that has taken place in three weeks ago and the money comes a year later, it's just a futile exercise because we are told that the government must do what is called reprioritization. What is critical if the damage is 25 billion, why the national treasurer must just not go back and review and just make sure that they transfer that? Because in a year from now onwards, it will mean, because in 2019 we had the same floods. The, the, the people lost their lives, their houses were damaged, but only now that we are starting to get the finances from the 2019. So I think we must just try the issue of expropriation, try the issue of reprioritization, but put a proper challenge towards our national treasure. Fast track this process so that look, go to Inanda today, go to Wamashu, go to Mdoni, go to Stenga. People are already suffering. If you can tell those people that they must just wait for human settlements to come in a year's time, it, will, it won't assist them. Let us assist the let us assist our people just right now while the issue is still pending. That's the only solution. Let us go and assist the business people in the communities in terms of cooperatives. They must start assisting those people through the budget that is going to be given by our government. So indeed, sir, are you in talks then with national government about fast-tracking that process? The process has started. It's just that in terms of government, there is this concept of bureaucratization. Mm -hmm. You will find that the process will start now, but probably in August, they will hear that they will be starting the first batch. It must start there and then, but we are glad that National Minister Wabu Kodongwan has said they are going to prioritize. President has been in the province of Kwazulu Natal. We hope his aptitude, his acumen, 
will just when he comes on the ground realize the damage that has already taken place and we want to see change and the change must take place right now to assist our people. Thank you very much, Mr. Duma, Chair of Committees uh, in the KwaZulu Natal Legislature, pointing out a very important uh, aspect of uh, the province recovering financially following the KZN floods. As he mentioned, there is not enough money currently in the KZN fiscus in terms of what is needed to rebuild from the ground. Still going forward, communities uh, remain destroyed. More than 7,000 people remain homeless, many living in community shelters. And of course, to rebuild infrastructure, while well, the damage with regards to that is more than 25 billion rand. And now we hear that perhaps uh, those figures within the KZN legislature is in talks with regards to fast-tracking funds from the national government to be sent to KZN to prioritize this province as it tries to recover uh, from, from now three years of uh, of, of, of some tragedy, including the COVID-19 pandemic, the July 2021 unrest and uh, the April floods.